You mentioned Ebony and Jet. I have to flash back to your parents, like when you first told them you were going out to Los Angeles. So what was it like, like years later when they saw you in these different magazines that you were like this big time executive? What was that like? It was hard because my, my father would go, but what do you do? So with that, <laughs> you know, I, I do this, I do that, I do this. But he came from another world. I think it's a little like today if some your kid comes up and says, I'm making an app. You know, what's an app? How, how did what time do you show up for work each day? I, well, you don't go to work. I just sit on my computer and I, I make an app. And it's, it's, so it's, it was very foreign because it wasn't a location you went into. You punched in on the clock. It was you helped make music and films and you market them across, you know, cable networks at the time. It wasn't digital airways yet. And, you know, you, you, promoted your movie across MTV, you know, or you promoted your album off these radio stations and how you got airplay and how you got the band to play on the tonight show, things like that. And they were mystified by it. You know, they would, I remember once we had boys to men on the tonight show and um, I think they were performing Motown Philly. And I was like, explaining to my parents, okay, they're going to be on the tonight show, but let me tell you, my part of how that happened. And they were just like, I don't, I don't know what you do. And then I think showing up in the trades like Ebony and Jet and Black Enterprise, even if they didn't understand what I did, they started to cut me some slack that I didn't go to college. 